What's going on guys? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day today. We got the part we were needing for our 6,000 XP. Shout out to Signature Solar for sending this guy over. We got this 6,000 XP right here with a busted connector for the uh, solar panel connections. If you guys saw the last video, this back part of the uh, compression screw there that pinches the wire to make the solid connection actually broke. So we got a new one that we can install and get this all hooked up. So I'm super excited about this. I should be able to land all of these uh, wires today. This is the second string that I actually ran in the last video. Um, the first string, I just wanted to get that fully connected before I actually cut and landed these two just to make sure I didn't confuse anything and we should be good to go. So I'm hoping I can land this in here today in this video. I'm waiting on Amazon to drop off a few other things so I can actually hook up these lines outside of the disconnect that were actually uh, got stopped on last time because the connections that I had for the uh, solar wires going into that um, breaker box or surge protector box was actually too small to slide over this casing because this casing is a direct burial wire and um, it's like three or four times as thick. Uh, no, you know what? It's probably double as thick. I lied. It's probably double, right? Versus the uh, normal shit. So the casing here just didn't allow it. So I'm going to have to see if the eight gauge um, ones I just purchased will slide over it or if I'll have to shave down some of this outer casing to get it on. But either way, again, I'm still waiting for Amazon to show up. So let me get all of this connected. Let me land the new uh, part here and uh, remove this one and just get these other two lines landed and uh, we'll be right back. Hey, so sorry to interrupt your video. Jingle Mining actually reached out and asked us to mention their Easter giveaway that is actually going on right now. So let's check it out. So this is JingleMining.com and this is their Jingle Mining Easter giveaway. You can actually win a Canon Avalon Mini 3, which is an amazing unit. It's this little heater right here. If you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. Honestly, I thoroughly enjoyed that unit. They're also giving away a Jingle Miner, which is a basically a Bitcoin lottery machine. And then they have a crypto tracker and some other coupons amongst some other things. You guys can come down here and all you got to do is log in with your X account, YouTube account, Twitch, or whatever else you guys have. I logged in with my X account and you guys can see that I already have three entries up here. We have six days left to do so. And all you got to do is really complete all these things, right? So where did you hear about this competition? Just go into here and type in Chump Change XD Mining and Crypto. Then you guys can go through, follow them on X, join on Telegram, follow on TikTok. You guys can join their Discord server, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and then you can refer friends for extra entries. You complete all the actions, you'll get actually bonus entries, which is pretty cool. So guys, this is totally free to enter. I think it's worth a shot. Why not? Good luck. Absolutely amazing. Everything's all hooked up. We're good to go inside here. Now I can actually put that face plate on and we could technically get this unit on to the batteries and just the solar panels. Once obviously I get the solar panels hooked up outside, I'm actually still waiting for Amazon. They haven't showed up yet, so hopefully they don't show up after dark. But this little square right there, right, is um, actually the extra piece or on the other side of the unit that broke, actually. You can see this one right here. The end of the square broke off and the piece is kind of chilling right there. So I actually disassembled the entire uh, other mount. I actually don't know what I did with the plastic piece, but I ended up getting out this piece in case that was to ever happen to me again. I have the spare part chilling in my uh, parts section of uh, my stuff, right? I actually have a whole kit somewhere over here. Actually, I just cleaned my entire uh, studio, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Oh, this guy right here. Actually, oh no, you know what? It's outside, but I have one of these DeWalt cases and I put like spare parts like this in it just because it's always good to have. Um, but yeah, that's really it so now i just gotta hang around until amazon gets here and then uh yeah we can go hook up the solar panels outside can you believe middle of april it's seriously snowed out yesterday <laughs> it's crazy there's still some left anyways all right amazon came and dropped off half of what i ordered so i ordered a new crimper that'll go up to uh eight gauge i actually think it'll do a little lower than that so if you guys don't remember if you didn't see the last video this is what we did we ended up uh, installing this surge protector breaker box, getting these lines ran up to the roof and the solar panels. I got to get the solar panels actually hooked up, but right here, I got to land all these into the uh, breaker box. And the issue I was having was the pins. I actually showed this off in the last video as well. You can see this pin solid right here. And this pin that the uh, 
unit came with is hollow, right? So these are rated for less uh, voltage and amperage and all that stuff, right? Rather than eight gauge, it's like 10 gauge, right? Um, these ones are about eight gauge. And again, the conductivity is so much better through something solid versus hollow. And yes, these are both male pins. They're both the same size. So either way, that's what I'm waiting on. As soon as those come, I'll get this all together and then we'll uh, get inside, turn it on. Hopefully they just show up before the uh, sun goes down. And it looks like they showed up just in time before the sun went down. It's actually probably going to be down in like literally less than an hour. So we got everything connected. Everything's done here. Everything's done on the roof. We're good to go. I mean, this is still sloppy. I do need to clip it against the wall here. And I have to run a ground wire down through that hole to be able to uh, ground this entire box. And I need to run a ground wire still up to the panels. But as of right now, I'm just going to turn it on briefly to make sure that the power is going where it needs to go down in the basement but um actually let's just go check i think i have the ground wire still yeah i can reuse the stuff that i ripped out from the solar trailer that's uh actually right here i just kind of ripped it through that'll be enough to get it from the box outside into the ground i'm probably not going to be able to pull up this ground rod and i just zip tied it just to uh, annoy a lot of people in the chat <laughs> yeah this is definitely not kosher i need to get a uh, real clamp for this but if i can get this rod, I think I can pull it out of the ground. Ugh, I doubt it, not a chance. But if I could, I would reuse it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, so I'm just gonna grab another one, like 20 bucks at the store anyway, so it's not like a huge deal. Um, and then I'm just gonna pound it into the ground over here, get that hooked up and I'll have to probably, you know what, I could probably just use some of that eight gauge wire uh, from the solar panels for a ground up to the, uh, panels it really doesn't matter i mean it's just copper wire and it's just the ground so it should be fine i'll probably just take a piece of this uh black wire and run it up there i think i have an extra length that i cut off from the uh lines when i actually ripped them back from the trailer into the house so anyways let's uh go downstairs and get this thing i guess livened up and just make sure it's all working so we'll uh we'll turn it on here first and then we'll go downstairs three two one okay that's live three two one all right red you're dead. That's how you remember it. Let's go downstairs and check it out. Okay, so these lines should now be live. There's not going to be much going through them, obviously. It's the end of the day. There's probably literally like less than 100 watts coming through this whole thing. Um, this right here is a shut off to the unit, so this is not turned on yet. I would have to turn it sideways like that guy for it to be on. And now I really don't want to turn this unit on, but I do want to make sure that these lines are live. So let's grab my electrical tester thingy here and we'll uh, just check the volts on this guy and see what we're getting let me just take this cover off and we'll test it okay so we're going to be testing literally the tip of the screws right there that you tighten the uh, wires down with so i'm going to uh take this tester i'm going to turn it to voltage and then we're going to hit the select button until we get the line with the three dots there we go that's dc voltage and let's uh try to set this up so we can check what we got that should work all right this one-handed skills 273 volts hell yeah that means she's working string two 274 all right exciting we're good to go now i don't want to turn this on in today's video to communicate with this because i don't know how that works i mean it would kind of be nice to do it now because there's really not much amps or watts coming through here as of right now because we're not getting a lot of sun, right? Um, so I guess it would probably be easier transition turning it on now, but I want to make sure I do it right because I know that these things should work perfectly in parallel together. I got the two communication cables. You're supposed to have two that go to this and they also go to here. And then the battery communication cable goes from the top one, which is the master unit. Um, over to here and I also want to see if I need to change any settings in here before I do so because again I just don't want to have any issues with anything here so in the next video you guys will see us get this livened up and we're gonna see how this thing works in parallel I'm super excited guys let me know what you think down in the comments below about this new 6000 XP setup and if you guys are interested in any solar stuff at all, go check out Signature Solar. I have an affiliate link down in the description below as well as the pinned comment. It does help out the channel, but it also saves you guys a little bit of money if you guys are buying anything, batteries, solar panels, inverters, whatever you want. Again, might not be for you, but it is what it is. Either way, I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me today. I will catch you guys on the next one.
Peace out.